Welcome to the IMC FAMOS tutorial. In today's session, I would like to show you how to implement automatic data analysis during data viewing. So let's get started. In the last tutorial, I showed you how to navigate through the measurement data in different ways, and today I would like to show you how to use some automatic analyses while you're reviewing data. On every panel page you create, there will be a second tab that will have the same name and will have the word code written in parentheses. If I click on this tab, then you now see that there is an area where I'm, I am able to write in various sequences that are related to the previous panel page. As you can see here, there is an area where you can find four subpoints under the title general called init for initialization, end, measurement available, and data selection changed. In these subpoints, you have the ability to type in different sequences that will be performed at different times. In this example, I would like to use the data selection changed because I want the sequence to run when I make a change to the data selection. Now what I would like to do is to calculate the amplitude spectra from the vibration data set. In order to do this, the program needs to know what data set to look at for the corresponding change. I will do this by entering the function to correspond to the marked data set. First, I will begin by changing our vibration data set to the turquoise colored 1. Then, in the upper data area, I will click next to the folder 101 to cancel it as the reference measurement, as it was in the previous tutorial. Uh, next, then, I will enter the command if into the command box. Then, from the function area, I will scroll down and choose the function cell use measurement. Here in the command area, I must now enter the number 1, which tells the program what corresponding data set to monitor and thus change. If I now were to select a different data set, for instance, the program will always calculate a new amplitude spectra to whatever data set is marked with the 1. Now the function for the amplitude spectra needs to be entered. This is done by selecting it from the function list, then right click and choose assistant. Now I'll give the spectra a name, for example spectra. Uh, the input data should come from the vibration data set. Now we click on execute, then copy and close. The command should now appear in the sequence window. Now I'll go back to the panel page, and if I search through the variable window, I can find the spectra data set. Using drag and drop, I'll place it on the, on the data set onto the panel page and choose to display it as a color map. Now I'll leave the design mode, then a pop-up will appear and I'll choose to save the changes. Now if I go through the different data sets, like we have done before, in addition to the previously dis displayed data, that is level, taco, temperature, and vibration, now there is also a corresponding amplitude spectra. Thus, with every different data set, we see the automatic calculation of the amplitude spectra of the selected vibration data set. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention and stay tuned for the next IMC FAMOS tutorial.